so although this I'm Susanna from the Good Property Company, I kind of feel like I'm David Attenborough today. And here we have the lesser spotted French stoves. So guys, eBay is your friend. Um, if you're doing what I might call bog standard vanilla, you know, white walls, beige carpet, which we do all the time, then you want to go as fast as you possibly can with as least mess as you possibly can. You want white paint, no cutting in, all the rest of it. But the way I started years ago was I, I used to live in Scotland when my children were small. Um, I was head of household and they were little, so I couldn't really go. Well, I could, but I didn't want to go out at night because I wanted to be with them. And then when I put them to bed, I was kind of right. I'm bored now. So I would buy old houses, mainly cottages and farmhouses. My family and I would live in them when the children went to bed after a full day's at work. I would then start renovating. So, you know, that kind of terrible um, wallpaper up your fingernails malarkey oh my goodness I don't do that now uh, and then I would renovate them make them completely physically beautiful and then sell them again and I did that three times up in Scotland and each time pretty much I kind of doubled my money so my technique well mainly because I loved it to be quite honest with you so I wouldn't call it a technique it's not cynical but my my technique was to bring beautiful items into the houses so I would scour um, the salvage yards and eBay and all of that kind of thing so we've just gone and done it again these bad boys are genuine antique French stoves I did quite a bit of research. I kind of got slightly addicted to eBay. In fact, I got completely addicted to eBay and I found these fantastic guys that, that actually live in France. Um, I think they originally come from near Bristol, from Gloucester, uh, live in France. They find old French stoves, they renovate them. Once a month, they jump in their van and they bring a little van load of French stoves over um, to England. Isn't that cool? So let me look, look, I mean, um, Art Deco French stoves. And look at this one. This one is like, I think this one is Neptune. Do you see what I mean? Whereas I, I don't even know where that one's going. I just thought it was just so completely gorgeous. And this baby with the silver on the side, and actually that's the back of it, and that's still completely beautiful. This is going in the bedroom. And it's not going in the bedroom in, in where the fireplace is. It's going in the bedroom, almost, not quite in the middle of the room, but you know, um, in a really good prominent position because she's so beautiful. It's like a little beautiful art deco pot belly pig. It's just like a little cuddle. So most of my stuff is about how to do property, how to do investment, how to, how to have great tenants, how to do buy to sell. But what I found, which I thought was really interesting on the, on the projects that I became really quite special, like this one, what I found is uh, I pretty much doubled my money almost every time. Now I was lucky the, the uh, recession, you know, sorry, the economy was going really high but I, I really did, it, within two or three years, almost double my money. And that's because I put in the time and the effort to bring in kind of quite amazing things into the house. And that just made somebody walk in and go, I have to have it. My last property in Scotland, I was just incredibly lucky. I'd actually moved to Bristol, but I loved it so much. I was like, well, I'm not going to sell it. Even though I live like 400 miles away, I, I still own it because I loved it. And then by the time I actually decided to sell it four months after moving to Bristol, the recession had hit, Lehman Brothers had gone down. We put it on the market for 325 and I actually got 425,000. So after the recession hit, I got 100 grand extra and I think it was from beautiful items like this. Now that is a number of nights of eBay obsession, but you know, hey, I think it's worth it. So usually we do vanilla, but here we're talking top end, absolutely one off because I really do think that that also um, can bring real value for your property developing. See you soon. Bye.